Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Cartier Santos Chronograph. Now first, I'd like to remind you that we're here at JB Hudson Jewelers in Minneapolis, Minnesota, taking a look at these watches. And I'd also like to remind you that we'll be leaving links in the description to their website as well as to our channel store where we've listed our favorite watches and watch accessories for sale. Now first, um, I'm going to go over the various case aspects of this watch, and the overall case aesthetic is very similar to that of the normal Santos that does not have the chronograph feature. It is very high quality. Um, I would say that the quality is, and overall finishing style is fairly similar to like Omega, um, just in the language that they use, uh, but however, it's definitely Cartier as the Santos is one of their most iconic models, and I really like the finishing. There's nothing to complain about there at all. Uh, so as you can see here, we have the uh, two-tone model as well as the ADLC coated steel and stainless steel model. I guess you could say this is two-tone as well because it's two different shades of um, color on the, on the watch, but again, it is completely steel. Um, it's just ALDC coated uh, where you see the black there. And this model does come on a rubber strap, which actually has the standard kind of Santos bracelet elements uh, kind of embedded into the rubber. Um, so it's a fairly interesting design, but you do have a deployment clasp uh, that does differ from that on the bracelet. So that's something to uh, take note of. Um, this watch comes with a in-house chronograph movement, and it's a fairly unique one. I don't really think you can call it a mono pusher chronograph because it does uh, require the use of the crown as well as this button on the side for its use and I'll demonstrate that right now. So to start the chronograph you press in the button on the side and that will bring the second hand around. Now the movement in this watch is in-house. It's got a 48 hour power reserve which is kind of my limit as you, or not limit but uh, requirement for a high-end watch as you guys have probably heard. Um, so that's a great thing about this piece. And to So I started the chronograph by hitting the button on the side, and to stop it, you do that again. And to reset, you press the crown in. So I don't know if you can classify that as a mono pusher chronograph because it does require the use of um, multiple buttons, but that is something to uh, take note of. And again, I really love the design of this piece. So one thing that's fairly interesting about this, and this is the same as with the traditional Santos, is you have the new quick switch system, which enables you to switch out the bracelet very easily. You just press a little button on the bottom of the watch as you saw there, and you can pull it apart and you can take off the strap and customize it. And they have a variety of options available from leather to obviously rubber. So you could put a rubber strap on the two-tone model for instance, and uh, you, can, you can do that. So that works out. And they have leather, uh, and then they also have um, various metal bracelets. So that's something to take note of. And one thing also to take note of, if you do get the metal bracelet, and I touched on this a little bit earlier, it has a double deployment clasp, whereas if you get the rubber bracelet version, you have a single deployment clasp, and they're both very high quality. Uh, the deployment on the rubber strap is very similar, if not exactly the same, to that um, seen on other Cartier leather straps, so uh, if you felt those, uh, they're very similar in quality. So. Um, all in all, I really do like this watch. I would probably get this over the normal Santos as I just think it's a little bit more unique. And I like how on this watch there's more going on on the dial, to be honest. I think that the normal Santos can have, uh, the dial can appear a little bit empty, but that's just a personal thing. One thing about the overall kind of design that I do not like as much is the dome of the crystal. You can see it really captures the light fairly easily here and it makes it not only difficult to film but also it may affect legibility so that is something to take note of. So if you like this video please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.